Good morning, planet Earth. It is morning because it's 12.29 a.m. Um, so, I'm enjoying right now some, oh no, some leftover, it's spilling out, leftover taco in a bowl. Um, it's really good. Um, it's, it's really good, actually. And it's nice because... This is my second to last week of classes, um, and let's see, I had an 1806 exam today, linear algebra, um, and they posted the grades tonight. So I, let me tell you a little bit about the exam first. So, uh, yeah. if you don't want me to turn the camera towards you, I, I don't need any- disembodied voice, uh. Hey. Yeah, you're you're a disembodied voice. I was until I showed who you were. What I was gonna tell them was that you guessed a lot of the time. No, this is my story. Okay, tell them the story. I'm sorry. Okay, so I didn't guess. Educated guess. Big difference between those two. So um, there's one question. It said, "What are the possible eigenvalues of a projection matrix?" And this was also on a problem set. And I knew it was either positive 1 and 0 or positive 1, negative 1 and 0. So I'm like going back and forth, 50-50 shot here. Uh, and then I realized the problem was worth 3 points. Now, I hear you laughing over there. Because <laughs> this is a horrible, horrible way to make decisions on a test. No, it's not. It's perfectly rational. Especially if you don't actually know what the answer is. Yeah, it's very rational, but you should know the material. Okay. You should not be... Shh. Okay. Finish your story. Finish your story. So, they're not going to make uh, a question that has three answers worth two points. How do you... Like, that's weird to grade. So, logically, it should be uh, three. So, I put down positive one, negative one, and zero. And walking back, talking to a friend of mine, he ex uh, you know went through, like, the math behind it. And it actually was positive one, negative one, and zero. So, three points for me. Uh, and then... One of the final problems was uh, some crazy, like, singular value decomposition of some matrix, and was like, what shape does this represent? And, of course, I have no idea. But I do remember that flipping through the textbook, reading the different chapters, there were these pages I had skipped, and on them had then a picture of an ellipse. So I was like, eh, probably represents an ellipse. I don't remember seeing any other shapes. So I drew an ellipse, and I said it represents an ellipse, and it was like, you know, write like what each value corresponds to the ellipse. And there's these two values, one was greater than the other one. And I'm like, logically, the only thing those could really represent on the ellipse are the major and minor axes. So I put those in. Turns out they were right also by some like math or something. I don't, I don't know. Um, so yeah, and then uh, grades were posted. Well, not really, because like what they do is they posted it on Stellar, which is like the class grade management site but it's not visible yet, but it's added into the cumulative total of all your grades. So if you subtract, subtract the sum of all your grades that are visible from the cumulative total, you're left with the invisible grade of the exam. All you MIT students can use that if you don't already know it. Um, so I did that with mine. The average is a 64.88, and I got a 63. Woo! So I'm like, Right on, right on par, right average. Which is really strange because, like, in high school, I never would have envisioned myself saying, I got a 63, all right! But here, a 63 with the average being 65, basically, is a B. So I got a B on the exam. Very satisfied with that. Pretty happy with myself. Um, happy of yourself. Happy of myself, that's right. Go on, was it, was it, rock and roll? Thumbs up for rock and roll. Thumbs up for rock and roll. You don't have to quote things if you don't even know the quote. I do know the quote. I just forgot it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so there's that. Uh, there's this delicious taco I'm enjoying. It's really good. Uh, what you made. I did. Yeah. I'm moving up in the world. I can now make tacos in addition to pasta. <laughs> no. And eggnog. You can make the perfect balance of eggnog and, and perfect balance of eggnog. You saw that yeah. video. Um, and... Don't think I've forgotten. Advent calendar. So, um, I actually did do days two and three, I believe, 
But we can do 4 and 5 now. Um, actually, we can do 4, 5, and 6 because it's technically Tuesday. So, let's look for number 4. Let me know if you see it, Katie. Um, it's probably oh, there, there it four. is. Okay. Wow. Let's see, number 4. It's a choo choo train. Wrong. Oh, wrong camera. <laughs> choo choo train. Yeah. Okay. And then we have number five. Let's see. Oh, it's right near number four. Oh, that's not. Okay. Crazy how numbers sometimes go side by side. I don't understand Rarely. the whole like, chronological order thing. They don't actually go chronologically. Why do they not? You're just sounding foolish right now. Okay, well. I haven't taken a close look at your chocolate calendar. Maybe you should take a close look before speaking on things you don't understand. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa, that was pretty that was pretty harsh there. Yeah. Harsh. Anyways, number five is a little reindeer with a bow tie thing. Um, <laughs> number six. See, number six is all the way down here. Totally different. Number Whoa. six, I think it's mistletoe, maybe. <laughs> mistletoe. So now what we do is we have a super chocolate sandwich in the middle of my taco and I've already prepared a glass of milk for this so three pieces of chocolate Whoa. one glass of milk and one hungry boy that likes chocolate <laughs> yum and one napkin because the chocolate's melting so I got a napkin here um so that's great uh this week uh, I had my exam today which was went fine um, due on Friday, I have an extra credit assignment for my physics of energy class. Which is awesome. It is pretty awesome, actually. I don't mean the class, actually. I, 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 the class might be fine, but the mm. extra credit assignment is really cool. Yeah. Mmm. That was good chocolate. Oh my gosh. No, explain the extra credit. Yeah, so the extra credit assignment, um, he basically said do something to do with energy, right, that we do in the class, or take some calculation further, whatever. So... My project is to calculate um, there's a certain amount of solar radiation coming off the sun and hit impacting the earth. Um, this is called insulation, and it uh, fluctuates based on what season it is and what hemisphere you're in, latitude and things like that. Um, and as you know, if you're in you know the certain areas of the northern hemisphere, uh, trees will drop their leaves. So the question, and you know. Normally, the solar radiation is absorbed by trees, which then use it to do photosynthesis and get their energy. So my, my question is, at what point does it become more energy efficient for the tree to drop its leaves, thereby giving up its ability to do photosynthesis, um, because it's not receiving enough solar insulation uh, to, keep, to keep that leaf going? Um, so it would be losing energy had it kept the leaf and uh, may continue doing photosynthesis on the little energy it was receiving. Uh, and from that, you should be able to calculate the upper and lower bounds on, uh, you should be able to figure out where, at what latitude north will no trees grow at all, at what latitude south towards the equator will trees uh, ha have leaves all year round. Um, so that's that assignment. Uh, I'm actually kind of uh, pleased with it and looking forward to actually doing that calculation. Um, and then I have my last piece set due on Friday. And then next week, I have my final portfolio for my education class, and then uh, I'm basically done. And I have finals. I have a final next Friday. Not this Friday, but next Friday, Physics and Energy. And then the Thursday after that, Linear Algebra. And then I'm finished. So, um, let's get more of this milk here. Tacos just don't taste right with chocolate, right? It's weird. Uh, and that's all for tonight, so I hope you enjoyed the, the newest show. Any last words from the peanut gallery? I'm the almond gallery. She claims she's the almond gallery. That's cool. Okay, there. You can't even taste the almonds. Yes, you can. You can't. Yes, That's chocolate covered. That's the point. Peace.